All right, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, you're gonna see me putting my motor back in the car. We're gonna hopefully be getting it tuned. But before we do that, I wanted to kind of break down what we're doing, what's been going on, and what the actual problems really were. This right here is my first original motor that had 200,000 miles on it. We took it out because I was having a couple uh, EVAP problems that eventually turned into aggressive misfires. I was stuttering into boost. So we then took that one out and put this one in, which doesn't look like it's, uh, you know, very, very salvageable now. We put this one in that has 150,000 miles on it and built it really quickly and kind of just put it together very fast and reused a lot of stuff. I had this in for about two weeks and still had the same stuttering problem when getting into like seven or eight pounds of boost and was still misfiring. And eventually the cam gear bolts on that motor ended up backing out and the cam gear was wobbling back and forth and then I skipped timing. So that then brings us to this motor that's back here that Cameron bought for himself. He was told that it has forged internals and everything, but upon getting it, it was completely stock, but it looked like everything had been replaced, so could be usable. We're going to keep that one off to the side and build it on the side and put this one, my old one, back in my car. So this 200,000 mile motor, Cam rode in his car for a little bit, hit 23 pounds of boost, no misfires or anything crazy like that, and it was relatively fine. He took it out because of the same problem I had with the cam gear. We're hoping that we can put this one back in and it should give us no problems because we know that it ran with no knock, it didn't have any type of issue like that, it hopefully was just the cam gear. And that brings us up to speed as to what the current game plan is. This motor is timed, it's got motor mounts, everything is on there, valve covers. Only thing we need to do now is get it to my job. And actually, if I can replace that rear main seal, I'll do that real quick. Also, completely random side note, we have a VF48 turbo. This one isn't mine, mine's actually at home, but I just wanna show you guys the difference between this, the VF48, and then the stock WRX TD04. The housing on this one is huge compared to the TD04. Now you guys are all caught up to speed, you know the game plan, you know the history behind what's been going on, and now it is time to get this motor back in my car so that we can start driving. Okay, so, motor's here at the job, car's right there. Currently jacking this up, trying to be relatively quick so that I'm not taking up anyone's time. We're gonna do this little by little, pretty much every day until this is done. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. Currently about to, oh sorry. <laughs> Currently jacking it up, about to put on the motor mounts, put on the headers, and try to find like, the bolts for my clutch, because I have no idea where they are. Don't build your car in three different places, guys. It's a very bad idea. Say hi to Cameron, guys. He drove it all the way here for me. How's it going, folks? Got our candy candy bolts here. Just a matter of trying to line it up. It should be very, very easy. Maybe not. I might have lied. Look at your subframe. frame. No. Which way, which way do those bolts have to face from the oil pan? Hello. That's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> you either have to spin it around or swap sides. I'll just swap sides. Let's try this again. Because obviously I don't know what I'm doing here. Not at all. No, I'm kidding. He knows exactly what he's doing. That's why he's super certified. Whole level of confusion here. No, you put the mounts on these wrong. Oh, so the mounts have to get flipped. Yeah. Alright. What are they, 14? Yeah. Alright, so this one fits. This one's good. Bolt's right there on the floor. Alright, let me get this out of the way. Brand new O2 sensor. I'm pretty sure that that might have been the cause of all of our problems. We didn't have to do any of this in the first place. But that'll be a story for another day, another video. Alright, so quick update. Those motor mounts... Those motor mounts were not fitting the right way. They came off with 15 plus SSI, the mounts themselves. And when I looked at them, they looked like they were the exact same, and I was fitting them, you know, with the other mounts that we have. Okay, so Cameron came in clutch yet again. I think I had the brackets on the actual mounts switched, and it was giving us a lot of confusion. Let's get all that out the way. Move this. Go! Watch right here. So I don't fucking smash your oh yeah, sorry, I probably should do that. Hey, also stand on that back because I don't like that you don't have these legs extended. I don't know what the fuck we did, but we did it wrong. 
Oh, you guys probably can't even see that at all. It's like the worst angle. All right, currently walking through my parts department looking for one bell housing bolt because I forgot all of mine at home. <sighs> so stressful, but it's in there. We just have to keep it in there. So mad at myself. Everything was good. I forgot the fucking bell housing bolts. Oh, all right. Yay, we did it. Don't mind the fact that there's not a clutch in it. It's fine. We'll do that another day. That was all there before we got here. I had nothing to do with it. It was not me. Oh, I'm so tired. All right, yeah, I gotta close the door. That's all. Oh, wait, no. I gotta do it after you get out. So pull out first. Uh. What? <laughs> Give it a little whoop, bum, 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 bum. So good. It echoes in here and it sounds awesome. I forgot I have to open the door for you. Here. Put that on. Bye. Okay, close. Whenever it decides to close. Motor's in the car. Um, I didn't have my clutch alignment tool or my bell housing bolts, so I need to pull it back out again, pretty much, and get all that stuff sorted out. But it's in the car, it's good, and anything I'm excited I'm very very excited lights off let's go she's over there in the corner but y'all won't see her all right I'll catch up with you guys in a minute did you really take my <laughs> putting this in my car and you can't stop me I will stop you all right Aaron just dropped me off I'm just happy we got it in but I'm gonna end this part right here and I'll see you guys in one second that up so this is uh two days later now uh sorry i didn't get to update you guys what happened yesterday i pulled it back out i put the clutch in there i aligned it and it is completely mated to the transmission the only thing now that i have to do is the motor mounts are sitting a little bit far forward so i got to push it back a little bit so i'm going to undo the pitch stop mount so that we can raise it up and push it back let it slide right into the motor mount holes i don't know if you guys can see down there i apologize if i'm getting terrible angles but yeah, motor mounts are pretty much right where they need to be. You just gotta push it back. Okay, so you guys can see motor mounts are fully seated in there. Just had to undo the pitch stop over there and let it slide. It's fucking shit. <laughs> Go away. <-A> hey. <laughs> now I am trying to put the headers on and we'll call this a day. Oof. All right, I've got the headers on completely. I just got to snug everything up. And then I'm just going to throw on the bolts for the motor mounts right there. And everything that I need for down here will be pretty much snugged up, tightened up. Should just put that bolt in for the downpipe, but I really don't feel like it. I'm just going to go ahead and snug up these headers, snug up the motor mounts, and then the next day we will put in the up pipe. And at that point, it's really just tidying up. So making good progress here, guys. I didn't get to record an outro while I was there, but I'm gonna end the video here because I feel like I got a decent amount done. I got to show you guys a decent amount. And um, in the next video, we should be really just tidying up and just throwing on accessories, getting a tune, and we should be driving it out of there. Also wanna give a quick shout out to Pedro and the boys because they actually have started their own channel. I'll uh, leave a link to that in the description below. But I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.